If you have an Apache type or Linux type server, have access to HG access, and you even have a gzip module installed on your server, you need to listen to my episode. I will speed up your website by almost as much as 400% absolutely free, and I even explain how this works. Welcome to TQA Weekly. I'm the host, Steve Smith, aka ZAxis, and today we'll be talking about user experience, browser speed, server speed, and basically size of files. Now, I want you to imagine this you are a business owner, you walk into a web developer's office, and you are presented with a bunch of search engine optimization issues, you're presented with a whole bunch of content issues, and design issues, scripting, user experience. But do they actually talk about speed and delivery? Well, if they don't, they don't know what they're doing. If you have two files on the internet, both of them of 100 kilobytes, one on a gzipped enabled website, the other one not, here is the sorry fact. If both these websites were downloaded by the same user simultaneously, the website, despite being ugly or better, will that actually loads the fastest, will actually be the one referenced used, visited by any user. This is where what I'm talking about comes into play, script on screen. Now the script that you are now seeing on the screen is the gzip code that you can use on any Apache website where you're allowed to use an HT access file and that you have gzip enabled. If you do, this code is absolutely free and here is the kicker. A file of 100 kilobytes that can be compressed as much as who knows how much I've gotten it down to 72 percent of the of the file being actually compressed so 28 percent of the actual size and this means that it's actually smaller going through the pipes making it at almost 400 percent increase in speed so how does this work well it compresses the actual code that can be compressed that in, does not include images because these are already compressed. No audio or video, these are also already compressed. But anything else that can be compressed, like RSS, CSS, XML, HTML, PHP, CGI, Perl, anything that will be client side, this is sent through the pipes at a smaller file size. Basically, the server is zipping the file before transmission, and the browser is unzipping the file before being posted. This makes it faster. This makes a better user experience. Ugly or not, if you've got the content and you've got the speed, you win. The others will lose. So do yourself a favor, tqaweekly.com slash se2 ep30. If you have access to HT access files, if you have access to a Linux type server like Apache, and you can even use gzip, put the code in. It's absolutely free. This is my favor to all of you, and this is also my favor to all of your users. Faster websites get better praise. Now, what were the cons? Well, you need an Apache type or Linux type server with HT access, and of course, gzip enabled. So for those using Windows type servers, I'll have to look up for the code for that, but you're gonna have to wait for now. Most of the time though, Linux servers are already faster and more reliable and as though it wasn't enough are capable of doing this all on the fly so next week i'll be looking into php5 a topic suggested by Giancarlo Capaz from Longay Canada also a guy that i know from a really long time ago and i'll be talking about things such as inclusion of external files how to get time and date stamped into the files, last modified, things like that. We'll also be talking about other ways of setting up the code for PHP so you can do specific tasks, what we call the if, if else, or else, and some other dark hat codes that you can use on your own server, of course. So that will be all next week. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to TQA Weekly for more information like our show notes. 
how to join our mailing lists, get your own TQA Weekly branded gear and apparel, or our Android application, please visit tqaweekly.com or .ca. Stay safe and online and have a great day.